everybody, this is Bridget Danner from Women's Wellness Collaborative and I'm here to share some tips about managing stress. So stress, as we know, robs us of our health, has a lot of negative effects on our health, and plus it just makes our day a less pleasant experience. So the trick is how do we shift it when we're feeling stress? So usually something happens, we kind of focus on the negative, we react quickly, and then maybe we regret it or you know we continue to feel bad about it. So let's practice a technique today I'm calling pause and pivot. So we'll go through a few examples of this. So first example is just say you're feeling irritated. Like let's say you're trying to get dinner on the table and your family's not coming to the table and they're not really helping set the table and they're distracted and you start to feel angry and maybe your automatic response would be to get snappy and yell at people. Your adrenaline's going up and now you're sitting down to your meal not relaxed and in a good place to digest. So it's not ideal. So the idea we want to introduce is the pause and the pivot. So you may or may not, as you're just starting this out, be able to pause in the moment and say, hmm, I'm not feeling the way I want to feel. But I'll give you another example that may be a little easier to find your pause. So you may find it in the moment to pause and say, okay, let me just take a deep breath here. This isn't the end of the world. Let me just communicate more nicely with my family. Or you may blow up a bit and then at the end of the day, you can take your pause and your meditation or with a journal and say, oh, you know, let's think about what happened there at the, the dinner time. And be, after you pause, you want to be curious. So you want to say, hmm, what, why was I feeling so angry there? And let yourself potentially go deep here. So maybe you're feeling unappreciated unappreciated for making the dinner maybe generally feel like you have too much on your plate and you're feeling unsupported maybe when you were a kid there was a pattern of people not listening to you and so you that really sets you off that really triggers you and when you kind of take that in and realize that it sort of takes away that automatic response and you can look for another response so you may think, okay, well, I'm going to call my family to the table sooner to start helping out maybe 15 minutes before dinner is ready. Um, you know, I'm going to, next time I make dinner, I'm going to set this certain mindset. Whatever it is, there's probably a way to shift it so you don't feel so stressed out and get into that automatic response. So that's example number one. Example number two may be a little easier in the moment. Let's just say you're feeling in a funk, like you're just not feeling it that day nothing seems to like excite you this happens to me sometimes and then I just say hmm I don't want to be in this funk let me pause and think about this funk so I th think about okay I'm feeling off and in this example often what I need to do is just kind of shift my energy into being mindful and grateful so just noticing little things around me that are positive you know being thankful that I got to the gym and you know I got to see someone I like there or whatever it is or that the sun is out uh, usually I realize I'm in that funk because I'm just not being present to what is good around me so that might be a little easier pause because it's nothing like in your face it's just like a state you're noticing is off and sometimes it takes me a little bit to shift out of that it doesn't take me that long to shift through it and I think I'll get faster and faster and so will you <laughs> so maybe let's do one more example let's say you're feeling some tension with your spouse um, maybe you guys haven't done anything nice together or you're feeling a little neglected and so you're feeling maybe you're, again you're having an automatic response to withdraw from him or be short with him or something like that. So again, you can pause and say, hmm, what's going on here? You know, I want to feel more connected to my spouse. Well, you're not going to feel more connected by being snappy or withdrawing, right? That's an automatic response. So maybe just reframe it a bit and say, you know what? He's had this project at work. It's not personal that he, you know, hasn't been around. And, you know, maybe I can try something different and ask him, reach out to him and say, Let's do something together or you just express your feelings. But the main thing here is that you're shifting the way you respond to things and then shifting your state, which is, which is so great because we want to be in a state because problems will always come up. But if we can return to a state of flow and of love, 
then I'm telling you, your quality of life will be much better. So hope that helps. If you have any feedback, welcome to leave it on the under the video. And we also have some links below for more information on My Life Coach and our business here at Women's Wellness Collaborative.